Hi everybody! Today we're going to work on identifying the type of book that you're reading. So, first I'm going to start you off with an easy one. This book is called 1001 Things to Spot in Fairyland. So, if you look at the cover and you look closely, there are fairies flying around and on mush sitting on mushroom stools and playing in the grass and all that stuff. Then, if you identify these small just these small things, you'll be able to find out what type of book you're reading. So, look at this clue right here. It says seven toadstools. A toadstool is a mushroom. And remember, if you're unfamiliar with a word or picture on the front of the book, ask your parents before you start reading because it might a like the first reason either be a bad word or a bad thing that you don't your parents don't want you reading or you're just not sure what that word means and I'm sure they'd be glad to tell you so seven toadstools and this book even has a little thing to tell you what it looks like so let's see if this cover has seven toadstool on it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that indicates or tells you that this is probably a look and find book. 1,000 things to spot in Fairyland. So the key words in this title is spot and 1,001 and things. Because you're looking for, you're trying to spot 1,001 things. And that tells you that you, this is a search and find book. So, now, remember to talk to your parents about what kind of books you're allowed to read. Then, after, you're, after you know that your parents have approved, you can look inside of the book and look for more details and clues to find out if you're right. So here's the inside page. It says contents right here. And that means either chapters or the things that's in it. Content means like, let's say that you have a cup of water. The content is water because it's inside. So, like, let's say you have a glass of milk. The content is milk because it's inside of the glass. So that's why they call it con the contents, because it's what's inside of the book. It comes from that word. So if you look closer, there's, there's different, it tells you what's in it and what page it's on. So, Fairy Feast, page number four. Let's turn to page number four. You can find the page numbers usually on the bottom corners of the pages. Here we are. If you look down here, it says number four, right there in that little black number. So let's see if we were right by saying that it's a like looking and searching and finding objects book. The first thing you want to look for in these type of books is if it has a busy and hectic picture with a lot of different things in it. That is what makes it harder to look and spot for things in this book. Then what you want to do is find a list of all of the things that you have to find along with the quantity number of what you're looking for. So it says eight plates of star cookies. So then you would look and find eight plates of star cookies. I think that that proves that this is a look and find book. And remember, Check with your parents before you start looking for clues inside of the book in case, like I said, a word on there or a meaning that you don't know is in fact bad. Here, so you got through the easy one. Now, let's go to the medium one. Polar animals. So, what's the first thing we want to do on here? Read the title. This one has captions and little smaller text to tell you more about the title in detail. But the main title, which is mostly in the biggest and boldest print, is Polar Animals. 
Now look, let's start from the bottom, from top to bottom, and read the title. The Field Guide to Polar Animals. So, Field Guide usually means that it indicates that it's a nonfiction book. So, like, if you've seen, this is a fiction, like a not, like a fake movie, but if you've seen Spiderwick Chronicles, there's a field guide about the area around the children. And it, that is, like, supposed to be, like, all about that place. So, meaning that it's a nonfiction book. So, field guide indicates that it's a nonfiction book that will give you real information that has lots of facts in it. Here's this. Explore the ends of the earth. Includes 50 pieces to assemble, 8 polar animals, and a removable diorama. So, again, make sure that you know all of the words, and if any of them are bad, check with your parents before reading the contents of the book. So, it says, includes 50 pieces to assemble eight polar animals. So let's look inside and see if that's true. Because let's say we have a book and it says Snow White or it says Fairy Tales and we look inside. Well, the contents might not be true. So let's say it says Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Maybe it includes other fairy tales, too. So, if you look here, I'll find one that has some... I'll find a good, clear one here. Here, it says, King Penguin, right up here. Again, the main title of the page is usually going to be in the biggest and boldest print. Here's the pieces to assemble, which means put together, that makes polar animals. So, the title is correct and trustworthy. That means that, you, that the title is telling the truth. And a removable diorama. In the back, you can. there's a removable diorama. So, that proves that the title is trustworthy and telling you all you need to know. So, now, let's go inside. On the very front page, there's a letter. It says, Greetings. I'm not going to read all of it, but it says that there's a girl named Nora Jenkins, and she's a naturalist, and she's going to the North Pole to collect information and artifacts um, for the Boltwood Natural History Museum. So, here's this. Another way to tell if it's nonfiction or fiction is if things are animated, which means drawing, or a real picture. That is a real picture. So, we proved it. It's a nonfiction book. Another way to find out is by reading it. Usually, usually nonfiction books include maps, like this one, and diagrams, which means pictures with labels and marks. It says that this snow owl has long yellow, um, um, large yellow eyes. So then, here's the hard one because the cover doesn't really tell us anything. It says, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. So first you have to read the first page to figure out. It says, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. That's the same title. So then continue reading. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. So that rhymes. So that might tell us that this is a poem book. So let's keep reading and see if we're right. There was an old lady who swallowed a spider. It wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. So that rhymes, and that proves us again that this is a poem book. Let's read one last clue to figure out. 
She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. She swall I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. That again kind of rhymes. There was an old lady who swallowed a bird. How absurd she swallowed a bird. So all of this rhymes. And it just keeps on going like that until the end. So that tells us that this is a poem book. A different way to see if it's a poem book is if there's a repeating pattern. So this book obviously rhymes, but there's also a pattern in it. So, I'll read it to you. There wasn't a lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. There wasn't a lady who swallowed a spider. That wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. So it said, perhaps she'll die again. It said, I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. So let's see if it does in the next one. There was an old lady who swallowed a bird. How absurd! She swallowed a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. As you can see, she's, the author is adding on different um, animals that add on to this um, to this repeating page and it all always ends in I don't know why she swallowed the fly perhaps she'll die so now I'll just read the um, pattern words she swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. So it keeps on going like that. So that proves that this is a poem book. Good job. You figured it out. So I hope that helps you identify the book. I'll see you next time. Make sure you watch all my other videos. Bye.